I'm told that there's a special someone on the phone for me. Hello? Hello, Cousin Ellen, and howdy to everybody in California. It's me, Gladys. Hello, Gladys. Gladys, how are you? I haven't talked to you in so long. I know, honey. Lately, people have been asking me if I'm still alive, so I thought it was time for a call. Uh, I'm so glad to hear that you are still alive, and I'm always glad to get a call. What's going on in Austin? Well, let me tell you, I got a present for you first. Really? Uh, Dang it, I got so excited I left it on the refrigerator. Hold on, I'm going to have to put you down. All right. I don't use the cordless phone. Okay. You never find it, and I don't trust it. I'm afraid it's going to start a fire, so hold on. Okay. <laughs> she's going to give me the present? Oh, she's going to... It's on the refrigerator. Okay, here it is. Okay. Uh, Jeannie from Kingsport mailed this to me to give to you, but now that I'm talking to you on the phone, I'll just read it. Okay. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. Okay. I have in front of me your horoscope for your birthday month, and since January's almost done, we can see how accurate it is. Okay. I don't know if you believe in those Zodiac, do you? Uh, sometimes. I think some of them can be accurate. I think, you know, it's also a clever way of discriminating against people sometimes. Uh, <laughs> that's actually true. A fella told me once, he said, you're a typical Leo. And I said, don't pigeonhole me. I'm pretty sure I got some Virgo tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I know it's from one of those. It's flimsy paper, so it's from one of them star magazines we're not supposed to read. OK. All right, here we go. Aquarius, January 21st through February 18th. Mm -hmm. Your imagination is soaring and could bring good fortune. Now, that's how they get away with it. They say words like could. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jupiter continues to protect you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's a big planet. I suppose it's possible. <laughs> okay, now here's the part that gave me chills. Contact an old friend for insights. And here we are. Yes. That, yeah. You're, by the way, by the way, your lucky numbers are 7, 12, and 15. Okay. Which, if anybody knows you, there should be an 11 in there. That's right. And uh, you're also on the top of the celebrity list for January 25th, right below Eddie Van Halen, whoever he is. <laughs> Okay, I'm right below him. That's all right. But honey, we moved. I moved out of Austin. We still have family there, and we we moved to Bastrop. Oh, what's I, I don't know that city. It's about 35 miles away, and I love it. I call it Bastropia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh huh. And we found this house on eight and a half acres of just beautiful pines and cedars and oaks. But the deal was that the house came with two rabbits. Uh huh. The people that were selling the house were moving to Austin. And so they told us they were both male rabbits. Mm -hmm. But shortly after we moved in, I noticed these toy boy bunnies, the two of them, was getting snuggly mm -hmm. with each other. Right. And you know me, Ellen. I'm open-minded. Live and let live. Right. <laughs> but to make a long story short, we ended up with some more bunnies. Uh -huh. and, and I got your tip about the litter box. It's working, and thank you for that. Oh, yeah, because uh, you can litter train uh, the, the bunnies. They do it better than the cats. Yeah. They're, they're actually good pets, aren't they? Oh, they're, I just love them. They're wonderful. And somebody asked me, how'd you get so many rabbits? And I said, honey, how do you stop? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Gladys. But we got Mr. Humper fixed, so things are looking good. Up. You named him Mr. Humper? Mr. Well, his real name was Chubbers, but I call him Mr. Humper. Uh-huh. For obvious reasons. <laughs> right, for obvious reasons. Have you been watching the show, Gladys? I do. Yes, ma'am. And thank you for making us cry. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, we've been playing catch up since we moved, and that Sherry Gone girl from uh, Whitney Elementary School. Yeah. What a story. Yeah, that's an amazing woman and an amazing school in Las Vegas. Yep. Honey, that's how we change the world, just one good deed at a time. Yep. yep. We have a fellow here at Bastrop had a horrible fire, and our neighbor is Tobias Henneke. He's also my mailman. Mm -hmm. And he got on his tractor and he dug fire breaks. And everything, this land, this trees, and this house, and all the animals and critters mm -hmm. are here because of, uh, of him. Every day good things happen, and it's wonderful to hear about him. It is. It is. That's a, it's a nice guy, that your neighbor. What's his name? Tobiah Henneke. That's right. He's um, a true hero. He knows everything about everybody, but he won't give it up. Oh. 
<laughs> I've been giving him baked goods and different things to sort of work him out. Uh, well, Gladys, I, I got to go, but I always love talking to you. I'm so glad you called. Thank you for the, the birthday reading and the birthday wishes. I love you, and uh, don't, don't wait so long to call again, okay? Ellen, I say it all the time, but I truly mean it. Love you, too, and you just keep on keeping on. I will keep on keeping on. Thanks, Gladys. Bye.